No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest, is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. So I'm, I'm being told I should hurry up, so I want to get to Resolve 15 a little yeah. bit. Uh, I actually want to transition to Resolve 15 with a question that I've always kind of wanted yeah. to ask. Well, here's a good transition. It'll come with Resolve 15 uh, Studio. Oh. So even though it's $300 more, the DaVinci Resolve Studio costs $300. So technically, it's like you know the $1,000 price with the Resolve Studio ships with it. So you get all the post-production process. I mean, you've got now visual effects, uh, editing, color correction, audio, all, and it's generation four color science. Um, which our color science is built into Resolve. Well, we are going to break that into an SDK so other apps can use it, but it's all built in. So you get everything. You get, you know, the, all you have to do is get the lens from the old camera and you've got everything. Gotcha. And then you build your LUT in Resolve 13, yes. 15 yeah. and then you go put it back in the camera exactly. and it gets baked yeah. in and you can control the whole thing. Yeah, because you can generate a grade in Resolve and export it as a LUT. Um, and there's also a new LUT browser in the edit tool, so you can actually browse the LUTs and see which one you like and then just load it in. Tell us about what's happening in 15. What are the big marquee changes in 15? Well, the big thing, of course, is um, we've done major improvements with Fairlight. We've almost finished the job on Fairlight. Um, we need to host the big consoles and we need to be able to do large audio post-production work. So we've done that, so we've got like ADR in it now, we've got effects library interfaces. We've got a whole bunch of actually audio filters with beautiful interfaces like reverbs where you can select the room size and all kinds of like noise removal that does analysis of the noise characteristics and all this other stuff. Because if we don't do it, because we've got Mac, Windows and Linux, so we need to be able to do all platforms and the audio plugins don't work on Linux. So we've had to put a bunch of plugins with nice interfaces so you can move between the platforms because we want people to be able to do that. But the big thing is really Fusion. We've built the entire Fusion, not only upgraded all this interface, but we've built the whole thing in. So what it means is now is when you go from the edit page to the Fusion page, it's just a page click away. You can see an input node and output node. They're connected together. That's the video path through Fusion. You don't have to do any import exporting, nothing. It, it, Fusion can even load the uh, old Fusion projects. And like Fairlight now, can also load old Fairlight projects too. So you can even bring in from the previous generation manifestations of these products, bring those projects in and get them going. You can just build visual effects. It's like playing with Lego bricks. And you just build any kind of 2D or 3D effect you want and when you go back to the timeline, it's just there. So it's totally integrated. It's just incredible. So is Fusion a standalone product anymore? It was. Well, it kind of still is. I mean, there might be something in there that I think the network rendering is something people might want. So it's the same engine. Um, we've been able to, we can actually build Fusion and Resolve, but we've done major improvements. And there's a lot more to do. Like there'll be you know, a lot of work on acceleration of the, GP, of, the, uh, of the Fusion side. But it's amazing. Even the Fusion scripting works. So if you've got Fusion scripts, you can bring those in. So. I think it's quite cool because Fusion was, you know, languishing for a while. I mean, it was, you know, having a tough go of it. There was Fusion, hardcore Fusion compositors who loved it, wanted to see um, it, it kind of progress. Now when you see what it looks like in a Resolve, it looks beautiful. I mean, completely redesigned the UI elements, but we haven't moved anything in a way where it's not a compositor's dream. It's still, we haven't made the mistake where we've tried to dumb it down or make it simple. I mean, it's there if you're an editor and you want to use it. Then you just have to learn how to build some nodes. It's exactly Fusion. It's like the Fusion guys are still in charge of that bit. But the user interface people have come through and done a beautiful improvement. It looks so much nicer. Even to the point where some of the internal Fusion guys we've got, the compositors, are saying, I, I can't go back to Fusion anymore because it's so nice in here. Because the thing is, you've got other support networks around it. Like you've got the media pool right there. You've got, you can just go from the edit timeline straight across to Fusion. But you've also got things like, you can actually, you know, on the color page, there's a bunch of thumbnails and you can click on different shots. We've added that to the Fusion page. So you can just click different shots and then you go to a different shot, it's a different node graph. You got different shots of different node graphs. You can just switch between shots and different effects. You can change versions of, of um, which effect you want to load for that shot. You go, oh, I want to do the other one that I had yesterday. So you put me just go boom, one button reloads yesterday's version. You can keep them all in you know, each shot individually. It's awesome. Like in the few, in the Fairlight page for the audio, we've got scrollers now, and that's all from the video side. So you can actually see the video timeline up the top. You can see these video scrollers. You can check AV sync, and I mean it's it's a, it's, it's nice. Not only have we got improvements in the in the Fairlight and the Fusion side, but we've also got the benefits of being inside Resolve. I mean, apart from the fact it's a page switch away, um, it's also the fact that you've got some benefits of knowing that all the video access is available and it's all there. You can pull media pool and it, you know, things in from the media uh, pool and all that. But even in the color page is getting benefits. Like you can bring those mats into the, into the node graph now and connect a mat straight into the nodes. So you don't even have to qualify anything if you've got a pre-done uh, mat. Things like that. I mean, it's, it's, each page is benefiting from each other but there's still individual cultures within the same app. It's going to public beta on Monday morning. So you can just download and get all this, you know. And so I think it's just bizarre. I don't know what to think. I keep grinning when I was watching it. I'm like, 
you know, the guys did the What's New video and I'm watching it and we wanted the What's New video to have more stuff in it so it's longer but I'm like cheering at three o'clock in the morning I'm like hey, hey it's, this is great like look at that thing. you build it you know build that thing you know it's, it's wonderful it's just I don't know I don't know how to describe kind of what it is but I just know that it's some kind of foundation for something great you know, and I, I don't know what's going to happen but that's not us for us to decide which is cool. I can't think of a better way to wrap it up than that. It, real pleasure. No, Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to play with it this week.